Their fans are ready, and if this shot from earlier is any indication, the Mavericks certainly look ready, too. The sprawling metropolis of Dallas, Texas, is our setting tonight, as seen from above. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. And the upcoming schedule for the Mavericks. On Wednesday, they'll be taking on Paul Millsap and the Denver Nuggets. And then on Friday, they're off to Boston to take on the Celtics. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. We are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. There is no question that Dallas's Luka Doncic has captured league-wide admiration. The Hall of Famer player and executive Jerry West said, we are watching genius, a superstar who will go down as the best player in Mavs franchise history. Considering Dirk Nowitzki was there for a long time, Kevin, the praise from Jerry doesn't get much higher or from a loftier perch. Indeed, something special, David, thanks. Greg, at the beginning of every season, we love to see players that have worked on something during the offseason that they now have added to their game in the new season. No doubt about it, Kevin. You know, the work doesn't end when the season ends. Uh, if you're trying to improve your skill set or if you're trying to just put on muscle, that kind of stuff needs to be done during the break. You need to have an assessment in the off right after the season. Hey, where can I get better? And then you spend the offseason on that challenge. The season never really ends. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Gang and Aldridge are up front. Murray out there with White. And it's DeRozan in at the small forward position. And for Dallas, Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Johnson is out there with Porzingis. And it's Richardson in at the one spot. And it's DeRozan missing. Hardaway dishes to Richardson. Hardaway passes to Doncic. Shoots over White, and it's Gay with the rebound. DeRozan with it, and it's Richardson picking him up. And he banks in the layup. You look at DeMar DeRozan, and he's tough to stop inside, really in his comfort zone in there. Richardson outside, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. Pulls it up. Kept alive. Boy, I like the work Aldridge did there. Good hustle. Nice job getting good position. For Dallas, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Here's Doncic. And no good. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. makes the first you know you look at the potential Murray has and it's um, exciting quite honestly he's a um, lead guard he plays the point but he's more of a scorer than a distributor at this point and so Murray nails both of them and here in the first closing in on two minutes play some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum and it's good two points boy calm and collected inside Doncic's scoring ability wide ranging and it was interesting how the Dallas franchise sold its fans on Doncic ownership told him think of a 6-7 Steve Nash 
isn't quite the shooter Steve was, but is only a teenager. Great vision. Boy, he can really pass it, and it turns out Doncic is all of that and more. The Spurs shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. throw good Murray and even Nash himself called Doncic a dream prospect yeah it said Luca was big and mobile enough in the modern game can guard multiple positions has a skill set a winning mentality and those leadership qualities Steve Nash sounding like a future GM Trey Burks checked in for the Mavericks and so Murray nails both of them the Mavericks have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Doncic outside. Off target from three-point range. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And it's DeRozan missing. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Gay. Rudy Gay on the wing. The second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Boy, good instincts and timing on display there from Gay. Excellent anticipation. Doncic against White with the shot. They get it again. Sinks it, and the shot from Persingas. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now DeRozan. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Sacramento. And a lot of those points came at the free throw line. Really because of his aggression. He, he was playing the game with force, always catching his man on his heel. And Aldridge slams it in. Boy, Murray's court vision, very sharp. And he's unselfish, too. You love seeing that combination. And here is Burke. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over-anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now, here's Burke. After the miss from Derek White. That one goes in. Boy, you cannot let Hardaway Jr. get going like this, guys. I mean, once he's in that rhythm and flow, it's bad news for the defense. Now here's White. Nine points last game. And the foul called on Porzingis. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Here's Murray. Really had troubles in that loss to Sacramento. It's rebounded by Dallas. Persingas has got five rebounds tonight. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And, and known as a tremendous shooter for his size, Porzingis wasn't quite as accurate last season, which surprised some people. Yeah, and you know, Greg, some people would automatically assume that because Doncic attracts so much attention that Porzingis would get more wide-open looks. But you've got to remember, Porzingis missed a full season and was coming off a, an injury two. and needed to reacclimate himself to NBA gameplay. So that takes usually a season plus another season before you're all the way back. First one falls for him. Well, coming into the league with immense potential, Porzingis has already fulfilled much of it, already an all-star. But you know, Greg, there are still areas he's working on. Yeah, he, he's definitely getting stronger and, and more physical. You'd like to see him make the next pass a little more often when a teammate has a better shot. But if he can just stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit on what he can accomplish. 
you know, Porzingis is a unique big man, no doubt about it. He's often compared to Dirk Nowitzki, somebody that can space the floor as well as hurt you with his athleticism. Actually, he's probably a tad more athletic than Dirk. Now, here's Doncic after the miss from Derek White and stolen by Aldridge. To the right side. Wide open look here for Murray. San Antonio again missing. Doncic kicks to Burke. Passes to Johnson. Dallas moving the ball around. And here is Doncic. Five on the clock. Knocked away. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Well, what a smart pass that time by Aldridge. Doncic against White. Doncic, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Spurs. They lead by four. And this matchup with Dallas, it's their first meeting of the season. And this, the first of three games these two teams will play against one another this season. Yeah, you know, these are two rival teams that will see each other a fair amount this season. We'll see which team can tip it off with a win. Greg, who are your favorite players to watch in the NBA? Boy, that, that's a tough one. You, you know, you, you got to like the guys that are have changed the game in some regards, right? Steph, KD, and Giannis. Uh, those are three guys that are just doing things that don't seem normal. True. Uh, then others who remind you uh, of past greatness, you know, Jason Tatum with Kobe or maybe an Anthony Davis with Hakeem. And those are guys that I love. And, and then I, the other guy, listen, LeBron James. I, I could watch him play basketball every day. You, you know, to do what he's done at this stage of his career, I, I just think it's incredible. And I think our game is in great shape. Agree on all counts. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Green comes in for Hardaway. Both shots good from the stripe. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Yeah, getting to the line and converting, that's the big thing. It's always good when you can do that because it stabilizes your offense. Porzingis finds Kleba. Now here's Burke. Outside Green. From deep three-point range, Marcus Aldridge grabs the miss. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure to agree with him. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes guys have the green light to take that shot, but I don't think he's one of them. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And so it's San Antonio with it. The Mavericks making the shot. They get the rebound. Here's Mills. Here's Gay. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Gay's got six. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. I like the activity there, keeping the ball alive and creating some second chance buckets. Now, here's Doncic. He's coming off a 31 point game against Portland. And if you look at his free throw numbers, you can see what kind of pressure he put on the defense. He was in attack mode all night long. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Mavericks trail by 11. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just too inconsistent up and down at the offensive end. Vassell, no good. Maverick shooting just 26% early. And stolen by Aldridge. Here's Vassell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Green against Aldridge. Here's Vassell. That three off the mark. Here's Dallas. 
They trail by 11. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, they look distracted, far off, distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. Now here is Aldridge after Luka Doncic's miss. Game with it. Nine points in the game so far. With the second effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You got to stay physical and stay aggressive if you're Rudy Gay. Force the defense to make some mistakes. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Spurs. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. You know, they've also shown some real tenacity here early on tonight, and it's paid off with a lot of second chance points. That free throw good from Gay. Yeah, you know, when I covered Gay when he was in college at UConn, he was an outstanding player in the Big East, and it was pretty clear he had a bright future in the NBA in front of him, too. Dwight Powell's checked in for Przingis. Pirtle is checked in for San Antonio. Lyle comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Rudy Gay hits them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent timeout, at timeout. the free throw line. Dallas calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. With a break in the action, let's show you the teams with the most second chance points last year. In third, the Mavericks. That's an effort stat for me. I mean, it shows you how hard this team works in the paint. They continue to pound the backboard. Powell kicks to Doncic. With some arc, and Pirtle sends it back. Wonderful anticipation that time from Pirtle. Positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. Looking here at some numbers for Doncic. Great showing for him last season. He put up about 29 points a game. Nine assists and nine rebounds. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. Yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Have jumper, will travel. I'm telling you. Most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. And the first one drops. Around the free agent race last year, for your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG, Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Oof. Well, wow. Base, <laughs> I, I tell you what, it's, it's a I tough just, call. You know, that Kawhi's is, that is. got a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. Kyrie's got a ring. It, it, it's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss-up, partner. I agree. Yep, I'm going to agree with you. Now, here's Doncic. Six points for him. Burke, the pass to Doncic. Dallas again missing. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. 157 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Pirtle. No good off the back of the rim. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. The Mavericks shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, nice hitting shot. about 78 percent of their free throws. The Spurs making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Free throw drops for Green. San Antonio leading by 12. 
There's 138 left here in the opening quarter. Mills can't hit. Dallas shooting just 26% early. All going up court, and he gets it to go. Green's got five now. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. The three for Mills. That shot missing, and the Mavericks going the other way now. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. In transition, here come the Spurs. Green with the block, and he's able to get it back. The pass to Mills. It's stolen by Green. They push it up for on three. There's 40. Oh, 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 oh my great goodness. goodness. That was special. Oh, forget about going for the long range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Exercising his authority. The three for Dungeon drills the three pointer. And now just a five point San Antonio lead. And defensively, they've given up a slew of fast break points. Yeah, seven of the last ten points they've allowed have come in transition. They've got to recover quickly. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. And so it's San Antonio holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And take a look at San Antonio's performance here. What do you think they've been doing or, or not doing? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Spurs. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Jakob Pertl. Johnson is out there with Mills. Then it's Trey Lyons. And it's Vassell in at the small forward. San Antonio leading by eight. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself, accelerates off of screens, can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. Greg, you really began to emerge and got on the national scene at UNLV, but you started your college career at Portland where you were actually named the conference freshman of the year. Uh, yeah, how about I actually averaged more points in Portland than in any season I played at Vegas. Totally different roles, but Portland's always going to have a, a sweet spot in my heart. My first child was born in the great city of Portland. First free throw is good. Hardaway's checked in for Doncic. He doesn't get the second one. Mavericks trail by nine. Jumps up, and Green slams it in. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. Now, here's Lyons. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Mills. Six on the shot clock. 
Jacks up a three. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Spurs lead by 10. Boy, Mills so locked in right there, shooting the ball with confidence, even against tough defense. Green with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. And they're pushing it up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. First one at the line is good. Johnson, he's checked in for the Mavericks. And San Antonio also making a switch. DeJounte Murray, he's checked in for Patty Mills. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Mavericks trail by 12. Pass to Johnson. Now Powell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Outside Hardaway. From downtown. And Pirtle pulls it down. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. The Mavericks have their young star tandem in Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. KP said we can be a pretty deadly duo. It's only going to be a matter of time. Once we get that two-man game going, it's going to be hard to stop. Guys, it's already hard to stop. Back to you. Team on the rise, David. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just flying up and down the court. Nine straight in transition. Running them right out of the gym. And the defense looks like they're ready for a break. Buries it from three-point range. Johnson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Murray against Richardson. Here's Green. Here's Powell. And the dunk by Powell. Yeah, you know, this is what Powell does best. Establishes himself deep inside and jams it home. Kicks it to Pirtle. Piles against Johnson. Pass to Murray. And the pass to Vassell. Here's Pirtle. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Pirtle's got his first points of the night. And Pirtle has stick to itiveness on the offensive glass. He just throws himself in the mix to come up with those boards. Now here's Powell. Over Murray. Trying to get open is Johnson. And that one goes long. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Richardson after the basket by San Antonio. Pass to Johnson. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 Martin. points have all come off assist. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to Sacramento. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting. Unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked.
Dallas making a switch here. Prozingis has checked in. Here's a look at some stats for Christoph Prozingis. Last season, he played outstanding. Around 20 points per game last season. Nine rebounds than just over two blocks. And his rebounding is what's most impressive. He's shown tremendous determination on the backboard. And it's a big asset for this team. I mean, he blocks out on the defensive glass, and then he keeps balls alive at the offensive end. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. So it's the Mavericks now. It's a 14-point game. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Here's Richardson, and he converts the layup. Man, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Aldridge. Over Hardaway. Here's Murray. Plays it up and banks it in. Murray's got six. And you know what, guys? Given his wingspan and vertical, Murray is a threat on the offensive glass. And boy, do I love his energy. Johnson finds Porzingis. Hardaway for three. And it's White with the rebound. San Antonio leading by 14. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Murray is a spectacular talent. And when he gets going, watch out. Richardson outside. Passes it to Hardaway. Here's Przingis. Shot clock at five. Back to Hardaway. Over Murray. Murray with the defensive effort. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Here's DeRozan. It's rebounded by Dallas. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And, Greg, Josh Richardson's a terrific ball handler out on the wing who can create for others. Richardson gets a lot of assists per game at that wing position, not just looking to finish plays, but also to create for others. Very well-rounded threat on the offensive end, and that gives this team another dimension in terms of playmaking. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, at this point of his career, Richardson knows his role, understands it, embraces it. He's a 3 and D guy who gives you great effort at both ends of the court. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Anjic comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Burke in for Green. Rudy Gaze checked in for the Spurs. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Spurs leading by 16. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. White looking around. Now the pass to DeRozan. Fades and shoots. They get it back. Aldrin. Nice D from Porzingis. Dallas has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Offensive rebound. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. You know, all that size and length there. When Porzingis is using his body like this, I mean, it forces the defense to be aggressive. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. How about up over the 80% mark from the line last year? So he's happy and also consistent there with those numbers. Shooting two. That free throw good from Porzingis. 
And, and guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Mavericks making a switch here. Kleba's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. San Antonio leading by 14. Outside, White. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. This group has players swatting away the most shots in the league this month. The shot block leader. Third is LaMarcus Aldridge. And guys, as the month has unfolded, his interior defense has gotten better and better. Shooting two. The first one falls. Trey Lyles checked in for San Antonio. Burke hits them both. Here's DeRozan. Six points for him. To the inside. And the dunk by Lyles. You know, that's a veteran play. DeRozan stays open to all possibilities. That's seeing the game in front of you. Excellent find. Now, here's Doncic. He's got nine. Outside, Brzingis. Back to Doncic. Shot from the top of the key. The rebound by the Spurs. Aldrich has got his eighth rebound here tonight. A floater, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Trey Burke. You know, they're not willing to give Murray any easy buckets here. Dean him up as tight as they can, even if it means fouling. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. He's off on the first. Mills, he's checked in for White. And the second free throw, good. Mavericks trailed by 15. And here is Doncic. He's got nine. Pass to Persingas. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Persingas has got five points now this quarter. Boy, the defense has to chase Porzingis off that line now, guys. I mean, he's timeout, a legitimate timeout. shooter from there. San Antonio calls timeout. And I remember when Doncic was first asked, who is your favorite player? And, boy, he did not hesitate. LeBron James. Hey, Greg, for guys of his generation, that would be the answer for 80 to 90 percent of it, and with good reason. How about these quotes from Doncic? He said, if I dunk on LeBron, I can retire. But I like this one a little better. He said, LeBron can play in a lot of different positions. I can, too. But for me to be like LeBron, I have to work much harder. That's a guy who knows his stuff. And a chance to check out the stats for Richardson. Last season's performance for him. Put up about 13 points per. Three assists and three rebounds. 
the contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded. And the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. Now, here's DeRozan. Six points for him. Aldridge misses. And Burke has it in the corner. The offensive rebound. Basket counts. Porzingis has got 11 points. Guys, yeah, you look at Porzingis, and it seems like he's got a knack for chasing down the ball on the offensive glass. Really good instincts. Files. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And the Spurs lead by 12. Dallas has gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20 percent, but they've continued to let him fly. Outside, Brzingis from the arc. A rebound by the Spurs. Murray's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Mills passes to DeRozan. Shoots over Doncic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. This will make four trips to the line so far in the game. His offensive approach tonight has been aggressive, and it's paid off with a lot of trips to the line. And he clearly has been feeling it when he gets to that line. The first free throw is good. So he's able to get one of two. Mavericks trail by 13. On the wing, Doncic. DeRozan defending. In the corner, it's Richardson. LaMarcus Aldridge grabs the miss. Aldridge has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Porzingis with the block. You know, when Porzingis combines quickness with his reach, Getting off the floor like that, he can block just about any shot. It's Richardson on the wing. Up again. It's hauled in by LaMarcus Aldridge. Aldridge has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Murray. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Richardson. It's really hard to stop Murray there. I mean, with his size, mobility, and speed, Sometimes the defense is just forced to make an adjustment. He throw good Murray. Dwight Powell's checked in for Josh Richardson. And so Murray nails both of them. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by 17. Shot to stop the run. Nailed from three-point land. Doncic has got 12 in the game. Boy, shots like this prove Doncic has the ability to be a major threat from there. Expanding his game. Miles no good. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting just 39% in the second quarter. Another three for Dallas. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. San Antonio leading by 11. Mills passes to DeRozan. Murray against Doncic. Pass to DeRozan. Trying to break that ice cold streak. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. 
Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Now, here's Mills. Eight points his last outing. Here's Aldridge. And the dunk by Aldridge. And that's a double-double for him now. Ten points and 11 rebounds. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. DeJounte Murray has been leading the charge for San Antonio. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It's hard to believe that LaMarcus Aldridge started in the NBA at the age of 21. Now a decade and a half later, he's still a real talent in this league. He's, guys, he's, he's not slowing down. Kenny, Ernie, you know what the best ability is? Um, let's see. How about reliable? You are so smart. Aldridge shows up every day and performs. I mean, you're the smartest guy I know. Well, he has a great face-up game, which most guys before, when he first came into the league at his position, did not have. Now, he's automatically 20 feet, expanding his range to three-point range as he gets older. Always reliable analysis from YouTube mugs. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been quite a game for DeJounte Murray. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Well, you know, in that first half, it was a common occurrence. He got to the stripe time and time again. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Mavericks. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Porzingis is out there with Johnson. And it's Green in at point guard. He's been getting to the line. Now his sixth trip in the game. The first one falls. Josh Richardson's checked in for Dallas. Rudy Gay's checked in for the Spurs. So Murray nails both of them. Mavericks trail by 15. Doncic kicks to Richardson. Doncic dishes to Johnson. And it's sent back by Aldridge. He's not an easy guy to get a shot up and over. Aldridge has those long arms and his timing's good too. It's good. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Doncic following the basket by Derek White. And stolen by Murray. Oh, the lob to DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down. Well, you throw it his way, and DeRozan is going to capitalize. When he takes off, He's looking to throw it down with no hesitation. Here's Johnson. Richardson outside. Dallas no good that time either. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Aldridge finds DeRozan. Murray outside. Six to shoot. 
Gay with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Gay can't hit. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And stolen by Murray. To the middle. Wants to get it to DeRozan and does. Porzingis with the block. They retain possession. And checking out some stats for Aldridge. Coming off a terrific season. Last season put up about 19 points per. Seven rebounds and two assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. And so Murray nails both of them. Mavericks trailed by 21. Donjic with it. He's got 12. They grab their own miss. Richards in the pass to Hardaway. Gets to the corner and buries it. And this offense needed that one after four misses to start the half. San Antonio's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Here's Murray. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. He misses the free throw. The Spurs making a switch here. Bertles checked in. Good on the second free throw. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Donchich and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Jakob Pertl. You know, he's the third pick in the 2018 draft, guys, and Donchich seems poised to dominate this league for a lot of years. And he makes the first. Free throws good from Doncic. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Gay outside. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. The Rosen's shot is off. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. It's an 18-point game. And you watch DeRozan play, he still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position. Can switch directions on the go. Is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Now here is Hardaway following the miss by DeRozan. Looking to get back on track here. That shot off. Excellent D there by Johnson. Doncic kicks to Johnson. Doncic feeling it out to the paint. Here's Richardson and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Greg, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid-flight to finish at the rim. First one falls for him. San Antonio making a switch here. Well, 
this is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Now here's White. He's got five. He's off from 17 feet. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Trying to get open is Johnson. Berzingis can't hit. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's White. That shot, no good. And it's Dallas the other way. Here's Doncic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. He is comfortable putting his head down and attacking. Doncic is unfazed, unflappable, even against beastly defenders. That free throw good from Doncic. Trey Lyles checked in for the Spurs. Second free throw, no good. And it's been said that history is written by the victor. Certainly holds true in sports, don't you think, Greg? And with that in mind, you think titles are overvalued when evaluating the great players, individual players in history? You know, Kevin, I, I think so. Uh, having said that, I think championships do matter, obviously, in, in the NBA, in basketball in general. One guy can have more impact, right? Because you only play five and you play both ways. So uh, it, it does have something to say, but I don't think that completes the narrative. You know, there are some tremendously talented guys, Carl Malone, Elgin Baylor, Patrick Ewing, Allen Iverson, a lot of greats who never won it. Uh, it, it's easy to count those rings, but measuring greatness has to take in the whole picture. Hall of Famers, all of them. Part of White's expanding game is the attention to his jump shot, and he's made great improvement in that area. Second chance shot, and Johnson with the lay-in good. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. Here's White. It's rebounded by Dallas. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Offensive rebound. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. A lot of times when they needed some easy points in this game, they've been able to get to the foul line and get them. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Powell, he's jacked in for Dallas. Green comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. San Antonio also making some changes. LaMarcus Aldridge, he's checked in for Lyles. And it's Mills in for Derek White. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Spurs leading by 13. Passes it to Aldridge. Now, Pirtle. And there's the pass to Mills. On deep. It's rebounded by Dallas. Johnson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Richardson gets a wide open look. Sinks the triple. Richardson's got five points now this quarter. You know, that shot right there, Richardson's three-point shooting, is what's helped him stay in the league as a second-round pick. Pass to Pirtle. Mills with it. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. Mills has got nine points. Well, you see the competitive spirit of Mills. You knock down a shot on his team, he's coming for the payback. Powell, the pass to Johnson. Dallas moving it around. Here's Richardson. That one, no good. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Johnson outside. Pass to Aldridge. Here's Vassell. Three on the clock. From outside, off the mark. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. Great open look there. 
He's got 14. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. Now here's Johnson. Five points in the game. Here's Pirtle shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one's on Johnson. Boy, I like the way Pirtle uses his seven-foot frame. So skilled in how he earns calls, draws fouls on his way up with the shot. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. The first one at the line is good. But Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high quality looks. And the Mavericks making a change here. Kleba's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Gay's checked in. Good on both. And Jakob Pirtle. He's carved himself a good chunk of rotation minutes with how he's played. Yeah, I love his game. I like his agility. I like his hands, his touch. I mean, he's a big, mobile guy. I think he's gotten to a good spot where he's dangerous in pick and roll action now, too, Greg. A solid defender. A guy like that is always going to find minutes. So it's the Spurs now following the three-point attempt by Josh Richardson. against Kleba and that one comes up a bit short Mavericks trail by 12 Richardson dishes to Powell over Pirtle and Pirtle sends it back Mills with it he's against Green shots good by Mills Mills has got 11 points you know, Mills is not just a long-range gunner now. He can score on the move, too. Underestimate Mills at your own peril. Now, here's Doncic. 15 points in the game. Here's Powell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Rudy Gay. And the first one drops. And a five-star recruit coming out of high school. Powell had an excellent college career, yet he fell to the second round of the draft. Didn't even hear his name called as he was selected during a commercial break. And so he makes both from the line. And G.A., even when he did arrive to the NBA, it took Powell a while to latch on. You know, traded a couple times in his first year. He was assigned and recalled 10 times in about a month with Boston's D-League affiliate. Finally found a home in Dallas. Everything turned around from that point forward. Now here's Mills. 11 points in the game. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, when Powell is this deep, the defense knows they're in trouble. Sometimes they have no choice but to foul him. He's gone two for two at the line so far. First free throw is good. The length and mobility of, of Powell is, is really impressive. He's a solid big guy who I think continues just to get better at both ends. Six. 
so he gets them both. And here's Mills. Hurdle trying to get open. And he banks in the layup. Mills has got seven now in this quarter. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jakob Pertl. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. That's good from Richardson. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Spurs leading by 10. Out to the right wing. Vassell, the pass to Mills. Hanjic with the steal. Down low. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Doncic has got 17 now. San Antonio's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Here's Vassell. Doncic with the steal. Foul for three. Rebound San Antonio. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Now, here's Aldridge. He's got 10. Passes it to Mills. Lock at six. They get it back. DeRozan makes it off the glass. DeRozan's got four this quarter. You've got to get a body on DeMar DeRozan because if you don't, his size and athleticism will allow him to hurt you on the glass. Here's Doncic. 17 points in the game. Offensive rebound. Tries yet again. And Pirtle sends it back. And now in transition is Mills. Here we go. Plenty of space. And the Spurs scoring again. Well, you look at Mills and the kind of passer he is now setting up his teammates. Indicative of the kind of work he put into his passing game. Now, here's Doncic. The pass to Richardson. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his third assist on the night. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. DeRozan against Green. And DeRozan. Here we go. And the dunk by DeRozan. Boy, sometimes there's just no stopping DeRozan. When he's determined to score, he's going to fight his way through contact. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Now here's Mills. D right on him. Pass to Aldridge. Here's Vassell. Pass to Mills. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. So it's the San Antonio Spurs holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy.
And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the floor for San Antonio, starting the fourth quarter. DeRozan out there with Jakob Pertl. Then there's Derek White. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. And it's Murray in at the point. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They lead by 11. Murray kicks to DeRozan. Spurs working the ball around now. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here's Kleba. Richardson outside. Just five to shoot. Hardaway for three. San Antonio with the rebound. Aldridge is... Murray dishes to DeRozan. Back to Murray. High post shot. Tries again, and it's laid up and in by Aldridge. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Here's Green following the basket by LaMarcus Aldridge. It's Richardson on the wing. He's covered by Murray. Spurs leading by 15. Outside, White. Murray, the pass to Aldridge. Pirtle with the ball. Murray outside. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. The Rosen's shot is off. The Mavericks have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Green, no luck. In transition, here comes San Antonio. White's running. You know, I think that's exactly the right attitude for White to have. Go at Two the shots. defender head Five. on and don't Elbow. back away from the contact. Two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, White was a late first-round pick in 2017, and I think he brought a little edge, plays with a chip on his shoulder, and it served him well. That can actually be the case for a lot of players in the league. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Porzingis has checked in for Powell, and James Johnson has subbed in for Maxi Kleba. And both free throws, good for White. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Dallas calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. San Antonio on defense here in the fourth quarter their defense has been very strong allowing no baskets now here's Johnson Richardson outside 
No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Aldrich with it. Now guarded by Porzingis. Murray surveying the D. Aldridge finds Murray. Five to shoot. It's a hand on it. Great positioning on the putback. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. And it's blocked. Murray is tireless on the defensive end, and you don't want this guy guarding you because he's so pesky. What a rejection. That's good from Richardson. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Boy, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunity. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Doncic has checked in for Richardson. A lot of big decisions have fallen on Adam Silver's shoulders, the commissioner of the NBA. And, Greg, I think you and I agree by all accounts he has succeeded with flying colors. I mean, wouldn't you agree? No doubt about What's it. Up? I mean, I, I don't know that you could have had a better person for the times uh, Adam Silver is to be commended but I think also appreciated not just from the players and the owners but I think our fans should also appreciate who he is as a person uh, I, I've often said that commissioners typically uh, work for the owners he's the one commissioner no matter the sport that I've always felt like was a partner of the players as well now here is Hardaway and here's Green outside. Dallas again missing. I'm all right with him taking that shot close to the hoop, but really not from long range. Murray the pass to Aldridge. Back to Murray. Spurs working the ball around now. Really left alone that time. Aldridge has got four points in the quarter. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? And the Spurs with possession. They're on a 13-4 run. Murray, the pass to Aldridge. Outside to Rosen. Greg, your son's been drafted. You were drafted in the NBA. As you look back on the process that you went through and your son Cole has gone through, uh, what are some of the flags? What are some of the things that stand out to you? First and foremost, boy, how time flies. I mean, it wasn't yeah, no that kidding. long ago, at least no it feels kidding. like, that they were calling my <laughs> na name on draft night. But 91, know, right? Yeah. 91. You know, every stage of life, though, has its joys. And listen, to play the game I love and now see him playing it at this level, it's truly a blessing. And in his case, he, he probably loves it even more. You know, he didn't grow up the way I did. He, he grew up just with a true love and passion for the game. So it's humbling and, and obviously something that I take great pride in. You were taken out of UNLV 1991, number 12 overall. Remember it like it was yesterday. Outside, Brzingis. Dallas again missing. White against Hardaway. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Hey, and White is a fighter now. When he's close inside, um, he's committed to going aggressively to the rack. And if he doesn't score, he at least is going to draw the foul. Shooting two. Right. 
And that one falls for White. And both free throws, good for White. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now, here's Doncic. Looking to get it going. And the dunk by Doncic. Doncic doing a nice job showing you some sneaky explosion and athleticism on that throwdown. And DeRozan, here we go. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. White against Doncic. Shoots over White, and he overshot that one, missing. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Here's Vassell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, last season was kind of a rough one, very turbulent for the NBA, the China controversy, the passing of David Stern, Kobe Bryant, and finally the COVID pandemic. Other than that... <laughs> <laughs> there were, it was kind of uneventful. Yeah, it? Uh, I mean, <laughs> an, an incredibly <laughs> tough year. And, wow. You know, you just go back to March, and who would have ever thought we would go through what we went through? And you talked about all the other issues, David Stern and Kobe both passing. You know, I, I'm just hopeful we get a return to normality because that sounds pretty good right about now. It sure does. San Antonio making a switch here. Mills has checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Dallas has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Vassell, the pass to DeRozan. Drops one in from the wing. DeRozan's got 12 points in just the second half. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Now here's Mills. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. DeRozan against Hardaway. A good look from Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Hardaway has got three assists in the game. Mills looking it over. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And we've seen more attention given to how fans, Greg, interact with players during the games, whether it's verbal or, or even physical. Is that something the league's got to keep an eye on? Absolutely. It's all about making sure that everyone is protected Shooting and two. respected. You know, this is entertainment, right? This is not do or die from a life standpoint. And we don't want to have things escalate. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of barrier there. I agree. Free throw good. Mills. Yeah, you know, the Australian Mills continues to prove his value. I mean, he's extremely good in the locker room. He hustles all the time. And he's um, a guy who earns and um, demands respect because of his attitude and consistency. J.J. Barea's checked in for the Mavericks. And both free throws good for Mills. Dallas has gone a disappointing 2-6 of on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Passes to Barea. Back to Doncic. And it's sent back by White. White doing an excellent job coming up with the block there. DeRozan against Johnson. It's DeRozan with the drive. Lays it up off the glass. DeRozan's got eight here in the quarter. 
I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. And uh, San Antonio shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Not going to go that time. Great D that time from Hardaway. When Hardaway Jr. is forcing the issue like that, it draws the defense's attention, and I like his aggressiveness as a scorer. And the first one at the line is good. You know, I think we all know that Hardaway Jr. is a really good scorer. I mean, the next step for him is improving defensively. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Marjanovic checked in for Pazingas. Willie Cauley-Stein comes in for James Johnson. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Luka Doncic. Then for the Spurs, Tyler Zellers checked in for Aldridge. Johnson comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And Walker subbed in for Patty Mills. The Spurs shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. White the pass to Samanich. Now here's Zeller. Guarded by Marjanovic. Johnson against Hardaway. Zeller. It's rebounded by Brunson. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for Dallas. Collie Stein kicks to Brunson. The pass to Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Stolen by Walker. Pass to White. Watch the screen. Floats one, and it's good on the layup. White's got ten points in just the second half. Nice selection that time by White. Going to the floater. Every guard needs to have that in his back pocket. Brunson. Crawley Stein trying to free himself up. Brunson, no good. Now here's White. Pass to Zeller. Here's Simonich. Passes it to White from past the arc. He can't hit that time. Dallas has gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. Marjanovic passes to Brunson. And it's sent back by White. Walker with it. Outside White. Spurs working the ball around now. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for San Antonio. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And a lot of players tonight help contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good game it was for LaMarcus Aldridge. Well, he was swatting shots all game long. Really owned the defensive end and got a ton of blocks and really protected that rim. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls for him. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Zinkis, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Johnson comes in for Cauley Stein. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for J.J. Barea. And it's Burke in for Jalen Brunson. And San Antonio also making a switch. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for White. 
And both free throws good for Johnson. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. To the inside. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by Doncic. You know, Porzingis is a guy who's used to having to fight his way through the defense, and good balance allowed him to do that there. DeRozan against Johnson. Zeller inside. Porzingis with the block. Now Doncic. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.